make sure we have all our system Ooh, so now we can create save scriptable object let's walk through this and ma make sure things are going to be saved the right way so note the folder will path will be created if it doesn't exist that's good register system undo so cool so it's gonna create the scriptable object in the resources folder and we just need to tell it what type of scriptable object we want to create so it needs to derive from scriptable object get asset path where does it get an, the name of the object from that's <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out hmm I guess it probably just gonna name it from the actual object type. Does it have scriptable object coming in? I but I don't see where it's getting a name. Here's the name. Oh yeah, here we are. So it's using the actual object type to generate a name, and Unity itself will add in a a postfix to make sure that the names are unique. Okay, cool. So now we need a we need a static function to to create this here. And I think it's supposed to be a menu item. <laughs> menu item allows you to add menu items to the account. Okay. No menu and inspector context menu so that's an editor we want this want this to be like a path I don't want to open back up the browser again I shut it down already so um, a assets I think that's what it is assets create assets create and in here we can put our own thing in. So assets create slab. Okay, let me see if that works. Public, static. I don't think it needs to be public, but just in case. So we create our scriptable. We have our scriptable data, and in our scriptable data, we save. What is our scriptable type? Slab. Slab info. Yep. Okay, so we create that scriptable type. Oh, I'm sorry. You can can create a scriptable object that way. need to use scriptable object create instance of type slab info okay then we can save that data so save scriptable object we give it the actual object and yes we do want to select it this was selected in the hierarchy if the project window 
is to the front. I think if you have your console window showing, it won't. It won't. I send it to the back and replace. Well, at least the way I have my stuff set up. All right, let's see if that works. Because if we can't create our scriptable object, then <laughs> see this. Yeah, this line ending stuff. Uh, need to close this. Reopen. This is the only way I know how to fix it. Say yes. Resave the file. That's one of the reasons why I just copy over. One of my Unity's I I probably still works in in here. My edit. My editor I have uh, custom mono behaviors, and custom editor scripts that would be could be generated. So when you go here, create a new. I am so lost sometimes. So when you create a new item here, mm, it might even still show up in here. Yeah. See, that's yeah, that's my script. So if I click that, it will create my own editor that I define, my own editor script. And I think I have mono behavior, mo mono behavior editor. Well, it's an old manager script that I, I did. It would generate a game. Or actually, it's an object manager that manages specific types of objects. So you can create your own default scripts and have them um, have uh, your IDE create that type of script whenever you like. Unity is way, way too flexible, and but the only thing that flexibility brings along a, a you know a steep cur learning curve. Just using Unity requires, I mean, that's very s small learning curve, but using everything that Unity has to offer, yeah, it, there's so, so much. Okay, so here we go. We created our resources file and our Boulder Run slab info. All right, and our slab info has a bunch of slabs. And mm -hmm, let's just give it two for now. So we have our, each of them with a slab, and this should be nine. And each of them have an element. So that's going to define. So there's nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in each of these, we're going to say, well, yeah, you are a hill, a flat, a dip, and this is how you're going to behave. So that was pretty cool. We can. We find our little slabs there. <laughs> All right, that's scary. Cool. Expected that to take a little bit longer. <laughs> All right, I'm satisfied. So n now, how the the editor?